Hey everybody, it's Pastor Colin from uh, Grace United Methodist Church, and I wanted to give you an update on a couple of things that we've got going on here at the church, especially with the coronavirus, uh, uh, you know, sort of threat hanging over our lives, uh, how we're going to do worship over the next couple of weeks. So last week we did Facebook Live uh, for, for worship on Sunday morning, and that worked out pretty well. Uh, and we're going to do Facebook Live again this week, but in addition to Facebook Live, we've added a new format on our website. Uh, for a live streaming service. So you can visit our website at graceintheheights.org and in the upper right hand corner, there's a brand new tab called live stream. You just click on live stream, that'll open up a new window. And once we start streaming at 1045, the live stream will become live and you can watch it there every Sunday at 1045. Uh, and we'll honestly, we'll probably continue this beyond the coronavirus uh, scare, uh, but it's something that we're trying to do for right now. So when you watch live through our website, there's also a couple of cool things that I want to make you aware of. You can actually sign in uh, also at the upper right hand corner next to uh, once you open the live stream uh, window, there's something called connection card. If you click on that link, it'll open a new window and you can actually sign your attendance in just like we would on a normal Sunday morning so that we can kind of know who we're reaching and who's been present with us. And if, you go, if you've got kiddos, who happen to be watching with you or if they're playing there in the room while you're watching, uh, you can sign them in as well. So don't forget to click on connection card on the live stream option. Uh, also in the upper right hand corner, uh, you'll see a, a tab that says give. And I cannot emphasize how important it is that we go ahead and continue our weekly giving or our monthly giving, however often you give, uh, so that we can continue meeting our financial obligations, including things like payroll and lights and health insurance and all kinds of important stuff, uh, including our ministry, our normal ministry expenses. So if you could uh, give online or if you uh, don't feel comfortable giving online, uh, our church office is still open. So you can drop a check in the mail uh, and we're getting um, uh, checks in the mail in, 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 uh, as well. And so I wanted to say thank you for those of you who have been giving uh, both online and dropping your checks in the mail. Uh, if you did not read, another thing I want to update you on, if you have not read Grace Notes uh, yet, we sent it out yesterday. Today is Thursday the 19th. We sent it out yesterday. Uh, if you haven't read it yet, uh, I want you to know that we've decided to suspend in-person worship uh, through August, April the 5th. Uh, so that includes Palm Sunday, unfortunately, but we will still have, again, uh, uh, our Facebook Live and our live stream uh, for the next three Sundays. We are fully aware that we might need to cancel worship beyond the fifth, but right now that's the decision we've made and we'll make the decision about what to do uh, about uh, uh, worship moving forward uh, as that time draws near. We're doing this out of an abundance of caution. We're just trying to be as safe as we can for everybody involved, doing our part to flatten the curve uh, as it were. So uh, we look, I, I do want you to know that I very much look forward to the time when we can gather in this great space uh, once again. And then finally, I want to remind you that we do have a Lenten reading guide uh, that we had been doing together in person. I hope that you're still doing it at home. Uh, we, uh, we put together this great Lenten reading guide, but since you're not here to pick it up, if, you, if you've not picked one up yet, uh, you can get that on our website as well. Again, go to our website, which is graceintheheights.org. Uh, if you do forward slash Lent, that'll take you directly to the Lenten reading guide and you can download it from there. It's only 28 chapters of the Gospel of Matthew in 46 days. So even if you, we're already in the fourth Sunday or the fourth week of Advent, even if you haven't started reading it, you can catch up. It's not a whole lot of reading. It's only 28 chapters in 46 days. So I want you to visit our website and download your Lenten reading guide. In the meantime, stay healthy and don't forget to join us on Facebook Live or visit our website every Sunday at 1045. And I'll see you then.